Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're talking all about the soft skills needed to be a UX designer. We all know the hard skills, prototyping, wireframing, visual design, all of those things can be learned, but sometimes soft skills cannot be learned. And so they're kind of innate in the person that you are. So we're going to go over some soft skills that, that I think make for a good UX designer. How can you create a successful product that accomplishes our users goals if you don't understand them, if you don't care about what they're going through, if you don't understand their needs their desires, their pain points, that is really where the empathy piece kicks in. And I'm a cancer sign, so natural bleeding heart over here. Um, but I think it's important that you put yourself into these people's shoes because that's when you can really create the best solution. As designers, we make a lot of assumptions and that's just kind of the nature of the role, but you do your best work and you create your best work when you're in those shoes. You have to feel what the users are feeling. And the best way to do that is to really talk to them and understand your customer. So that's the advice I'd give. No matter what role you're in, new, middle, I think it's important to kind of wear that customer hat to be able to understand these motivations. So, and it can be something as simple as like, I don't know, like let's say you're working for hotels.com you want to understand your customer they're obviously coming to you for a very specific need and if you can get into those shoes you can create a better solution for them coffee break next thing i'd say is that you need to be a good collaborator and just yeah <laughs> we're gonna navigate all different kinds of people for the rest of our lives and you have to be able to kind of move and shake and adapt stay fluid as best as you can as a ux designer you are collaborating with other designers but they're kind of the easiest people to collaborate i find i think collaborating with product managers developers always a little bit of a challenge um as well as account management and marketing and data platforms like there's so much interconnectivity in ux design so you have to be a team player and you have to also realize that maybe somebody somebody's idea is better than yours and that's okay you really just have to take your ego out of a lot of things as a designer and just be willing to all come together and make this product work because at the end of the day you're all on the same team and when i see conflicts or struggles at work that's always what i go back to it's like guys we are all here working towards the same goal and it's very different coming from interior design where it's a little bit of a me 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 mentality like do you want your design to be the best you're not really competing necessarily so i think it's important to remember that Next thing that is very important is communication, being a good communicator. And honestly, I think this is this one is the hardest. This one is the hardest for me. I feel like I'm a pretty good communicator, don't we all? But it make, you can even think about it in like relationships in your life, whether it's like a partner relationship, friends, family. Communication is usually the kind of sticky point, you know, where oh, you said something that way and that's not really the way that you meant it or it came across that way. I feel like communication is such a hard one. Um, and in the lens of UX design, it's being able to communicate your design and your intentions and your goals effectively so it makes sense for others. So you can get that buy-in from stakeholders and whoever you need to. You have to really articulate your design thinking process and why you did it this way and A and B and all of that. So you kind of... I have to think of it as like linear because in my mind I'm like oh yeah, yeah this totally makes sense but to somebody that's not in my head you have to really lay out the steps and I think that, that will be hopefully a clear and concise way I'm still working through it myself guys but being a good communicator is also being a good listener I feel like I'm a pretty good listener but that's also twofold you know just communication it can manifest in different ways. It can be making sure you're relaying information correctly. So maybe you just need to take more diligent notes during meetings, understanding some of the jargon of developers. Guys, that needs to be a whole separate video because I am still trying to learn what is a Palm API? Like what? <laughs> I'm still learning over here. Um, so yeah, that's what I mean by communication. Time management. Time management is so important, guys. So typically there is a process that you follow and you are, when you think about something of like, let's say you're working on a feature from initial idea to being out in the market, there is a timeline and you are just one little piece in that timeline. And so let's say we've got the idea, we've got the solution, now it's time to iterate and actually create the design. 
you are that piece. And so you need to manage your time wisely because then you have to hand it off to development. So if you're over here taking your sweet ass time, spending six weeks on adding a button, okay, that's probably not gonna fly because you've got other people, you got other goals that you need to hit, other deadlines. So time management is so important. You guys ask me a lot, is there like late nights? Do you find yourself working really late? And I don't guys, I really don't. I just, I'm definitely more of a front loader. So I like to front load my days. I understand myself and when I'm most productive. So I'm usually productive probably in the very beginning of the morning, like 8.39 is when I'm like, okay, I'm checking my emails, putting my to-do list together, I'm crossing things off. And then afternoon, not so much, but then come like 3.30, I'm on fire. So you kind of have to understand your pockets of productivity and really capitalize on that time. You want to make sure it, if, you, if you need to create a schedule for yourself, you want to make sure you can do that. You need to be juggling maybe user interviews and research as well as meetings with product and development. There's like so much that goes into it and you don't want to be missing any deadlines. So that's so important. If you can figure out a system for yourself to manage all of your time, you're just going to be so much better off for it. So time management guys, don't forget it. It's probably one of the most important things. Soft skills are just one part to be a good UX designer and portfolios are probably the next important piece. So check out this video here on portfolio mistakes that you should avoid if you're trying to get into UX design. And I'll see you over there.